so you said you said that that, that tau isn't really a crypto token it's like owning a slice of lots of little businesses mm. I mean, tell us a bit more about that yeah so i guess when you go back to the 50s 60s or hell 70s equities were this this new growing mountain where you had all sorts of companies that all of a sudden you could trade and buy their stock um, and then we we quickly had the formation of the s p 500 the 500 biggest most traded stocks in the us in the uk it's the FTSE 100 etc and we're seeing this in the decentralized distributed open source ai area so you have all of these independent ai decentralized ai startups and they all have their own token under the BitTensor protocol and so if, if you can't choose which individual subnet or ai startup you want you can just buy tau and tau is effectively the s p 500 of distributed decentralized open source ai um what was the question the question was um oh the, the question was so if 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 Tau is the index tracker token for the S&P 500, but you wouldn't want to own everything in the S&P 500 because mm. all the value is created by a handful of stocks at the top end, those tech stocks. So yeah. and it's the same situation in Tau, I guess? Yeah, 100%. Like, like with the S&P 500, like there's a bit of a joke of the S&P 493, they're all very poorly performing. It's just those, those Mag 7, which is holding everything up. And like any market, it's, it's going to be the same in, in BitTensor. Uh, there will be, a, a, you know, 90% of the value will be in 10% of the subnets. Um, so this is one of the reasons I've said to never just buy the top 10 or top 20, because in an early ecosystem like this, there's going to be high rotation. Um, so yes, something will be in the top 20 now, but in a few months or a year, it, it may not be. Um, but yeah, just buying Tau, it, it, it gets, it's the gross value capture of everything in BitTensor.